The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I was born in the year 18 to a large fortune, endowed besides with excellent parts, inclined by nature to industry, fond of the respect of the wise, and good among my fellow men. And thus, as might have been supposed, with every guarantee of an honorable and distinguished future, and indeed the worst of my faults, was a certain impatient ga gaiety of my disposition, such as has made the happiness of many, but such as I found it hard to reconcile with my imperious desire to carry my head high, and wear a more than commonly grave countenance before the public head. <laughs> I have to see it. Oh gosh, what's happening? He's coming, he's got my lizards. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Yes, are you on this day? You are? Are you close to the world? do this again. Wow, you look so much better. What wow. happened? I've changed. That's great, man. Yeah. Great to hear. Yeah. That's awesome. I got an idea. I have a potion. I never to change the Mr. Head again. Good. A little while later. It's so hard. I can't do this anymore. You killed people. You can I can get the potion, but I can't get cards. Potion. There is uh, you need breaking my lock and gas law. <laughs> Or will he find courage to release himself at the last moment? God knows I am careless. This is my true hour of death. And what is to follow concerns another than myself. Here then, as I lay down the pen and proceed to seal up the confession, I bring the life of that unhappy Henry Jekyll to an end. <laughs> 